Hello, Speed. and welcome to this episode of Audible Meme. I am joined by my lovely co-hosts, Adam and Sean, and today we're going to be talking about that thing that you clicked on this video for. The thing that's in the thumbnail. We will talk about it at some point. Please stick around. I promise we'll get there. See, that's the fun it bit. Might be, it might be an hour three of the podcast, but I promise we'll get there. Seriously, I'm, I'm not lying. We I wonder gonna, what's in the thumbnail. <laughs> We're going to bring so that thing in the thumbnail up in the last 10 minutes yeah. after we finish the outro, and we're just like, oh yeah, the thumbnail. We'd like <laughs> oh, yeah, to thank today's thing sponsor yeah, yeah, that we right, don't right. have. <laughs> we don't know what the sponsor is yet, but it'll be in the I, thumbnail. I, I made a, we a website using uh, a code. Use, use a code. <laughs> we're sponsored by Python. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm more of a C sharp guy myself. Now is that in the thumbnail? We don't know yet. Python. I'll just put a big fucking snake. It'll just be a big picture. Put everything we talk about in the thumbnail. Every single thing. <laughs> I comb through the <laughs> podcast for like three fucking hours. I actually here's a edit. better thumbnail idea. I've Every time we say thing. thumbnail, add another image of the thumbnail to the thumbnail. I'm bad at making thumbnails, man. <laughs> Mate, it's just copy-paste well, the, copy the thumbnail onto the thumbnail. Ah, this is gonna be such a bitch. <laughs> but the viewers, Gilbert! Think of the I viewers! Think think of... The viewers won't click on it, man. I wouldn't click on it. This is complicated yeah. as shit. <laughs> well, they're gonna click on it for me vomiting up my multiple McDonald's, you know gonna, so... You know what's probably gonna end up being in the thumbnail? The Pog emote, because it's... It yeah. attracts clicks, and we're gonna talk about it right now. Do you guys yeah, talk about Adam like Pog. the idea of the new pods? No, no, I don't. I'm like, is there a new the pod? Boat. I didn't see that. <laughs> okay. Right, right. First of all, I think we should explain. Uh, basically, <laughs> the guy who is the poggy moat is kind of a dick. He denied COVID, and he was cool with all the anti-democracy stuff in America. So they got rid of him as the poggy moat, and now they're doing a new poggy moat every twenty-four hours. <laughs> And some of them. Oh, are, I think that's a good idea. Yeah, some of them are fine. I don't think any of them are terrible. Some people are really shit on some of them. Yeah. What's your problem, Adam? My my problem with it is it's in the same vein, right? Pog's been around for a while. Yeah. The guy has has had the reputation for being a giant racist asshole for a long time but like no one looks no, i don't in my opinion no one looked at pog and went i want to know who that guy is no i had it, no idea a, i had no idea who the guy was until they got yeah right. i had i didn't even know his fucking name it was kind of hard to figure out who he was because he didn't even like being the face of pog you didn't even know who the guy was until they announced we are removing guy's name yeah. as the pog champ emote yeah, he gained 10,000 followers when they did that, by the way. Yeah. On Twitter. So, it didn't really drive traffic away from him. Yeah. Um, but I, I think they should just make it like a photo of a fucking animal and leave it. Like, yeah, like, I, I feel like if they change it to something like a... Like, people make their own custom emotes. I've been in chats where people have like, had fucking, like, dog pog. Yeah, and I feel like yeah, dog yeah. pogs a lot more yeah. neutral than here's a streamer and then everyone starts streaming. Uh I do not like woman being the face of Pog Champ. Yeah, uh, I, think, I think the only problem I have with it because I like the idea of having like a new Pog Champ every twenty four hours. I think it's nice. Yeah, and if people weren't trash, it would be good. But people but the problem is they are small people. Like if I was if I was Pog tomorrow, which I won't be. <laughs> if I was Pog tomorrow, we'd get like so much fucking hate. For no a finger on the monkey's paw curls. <laughs> like, we'd just get the shit torn out of us. Our podcast yeah. would, like, bomb. I mean, we'd get more views, but they would be hate views. <laughs> yeah, they'd be hate views. And the thing is, like, then, of course, you have the people that, like... As much as I liked Old Pog because it was such a signature look, you have people, like, rating the level of Pogness that someone's yeah. face is. It's like, this one isn't Pog enough! Twitch is just pandering! And it's like... I don't look at a redesign of the laughing emoji and think this um, this laughing emoji isn't it's laughing, laughing hard enough. enough. Yeah. Oh, that's not the laughing emoji enough. I think they should just make it Peppy the Frog, but they won't do uh, that. Remember Peppy the Frogs yeah. are like a 
I feel so bad that... for the creator of Pepe as well because he's so sad. Wasn't there that it was? Yeah, that there's, there's a like documentary. Yeah, on the documentary yeah. on him where he's just like, man, they my fucking frog racist. He's like, he's my fucking frog man. Now he's a Nazi. What the fuck? Like that just goes to show that you can't control anything that you put on the internet, like at all. Yeah, it's it's in one of those things. Oh god, like in ways of like. Just like internet culture in general, like the way that things like get so twisted, like Pepe is not a racist thing. There was the whole thing with like the OK hand symbols, like f- like but for the thing is, like when a, people do white it supremacy. Memes. So like that was a yeah. meme, right? That was like that was a meme. trying to fuck with people. But now there mm-hmm. are like dumbass white supremacists who have started using it. So now it is a signal of white supremacy. Yeah. Now they actually use it, which is infuriating. Because we, we mm. fucking love the OK Hand. We are OK Hand boys. We use all the things. But we maybe don't, don't maybe don't describe us as OK Hand boys because there's probably a hate yeah. group called the yeah. OK Hand boys. <laughs> probably, probably is a fucking hate group called the OK Hand boys. Absolutely banging name for a hate group, but don't at me. Yeah, just to clarify, we don't hate black people. We do, we we, do not condone hate. We just hatred. favored the emoji and yeah. the symbol before it, uh, it meant you hated black people, apparently. Oh. What I was gonna, like, say is, like, just the way, like, meme culture, like, twists, like, how, like, things start so innocently, like, Doge, Doge started off as, like, wow, such a gamer, and now it's, like, post-ironic Doge that comes on his ex-wife. Or, like, me and Adam sat and watched a, a, a lovely video over Discord together the other day, which was Napoleon's history explained through Doge, and while it was a fucking great video... It just shows how, like, distorted something be- can become, because obviously Doge wasn't meant to be that, ever. Yeah. What's the- oh god, what's the other meme that's made a com- like, a big comeback lately, that was, like, decently old? I have it on, like, the tip of the- my fucking brain. I can't think. Um, like, I- I- it, I'm so rapidly- sh- no, I'm rapidly scrolling back in the in the lounge because there's. I'm like. Uh, I'm gonna be. Th- I'm gonna be thinking about, about this while we're here. Yeah, the, you you continue. Burn, I am. I very much like the Bernie at the inauguration memes. Oh yeah, I saw this thread on Twitter earlier today that's like different ways people have drawn that. My favorite one is just like I love that he turned he turned up and like. It, he, Bernie looks like a man at the inauguration who's like, he had, it was on his list of things to do that day, yeah, but yeah. it wasn't his main thing to do that and day. Yeah. My favorite one was, was like, it, someone posted it with the caption, this could have been an email. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I was like, yeah, I get it. Um, the was like, honey, what should I wear to the inauguration today? And she's like, how about the meme jacket, honey? <laughs> yeah. It's, yeah, it's the same jacket from the, I'm once again asking. Man, Bernie is like infinite source of memes, but purely just because the like, Zoomers fucking love him. Like that's the main yeah. reason. It's all to do with his base. It's not actually to do with him. He's down with the youth. He is or, based. Or at least his image is down with the youth. I mean, so, burn. so is Trump. It was just the conservative youth, which is a smaller group of the youth. Yeah. Members. Um, which is weirdly part of how Pepe became because like. Trump used Pepe, didn't he? Trump was a big Pepe. I'm pretty guy. sure, yeah. Yeah, he used Pepe um, when he was running in 2016. And then, uh, you know, ba- bad people were like, hey, Trump uses it. Pepe is cool. And then Nazis started using it. Uh, which is fucked. I mean, I'm not saying Trump is the reason that Nazis use Pepe. I'm just saying they're not entirely unlinked. Yeah. God, I'm I'm really racking my brain trying to think. I, I feel I've, like as soon I've, as you say it, I'll know what you mean. I've like laughed at it recently. It's a really old meme. It's probably it, it, right. I'm it, part of it in my head is like, remember when we talked about humongous like a week ago? But it's not humongous because yeah. humongous isn't funny and it's not alive anymore. Humongous but like, reminds me of Hitch through Hitch through. That's all I think of when I think. Of that's it. entirely who I associate with it. Yeah. 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 Uh, I think of Among Us. <laughs> Just because they have <laughs> similar sounds. I'd rather not yeah. think of Among Us ever again. Humongous. Still a fun game. How did we humongous. progress to the point of humor where we're like, the drip, 
the Amo he got the Among Us drip. Right, don't fucking piss. I've seen me. quite a few Bernie drip memes. Right. Adam the and our so... friend Joseph just keep saying fucking drip all the time. Drip. Every time you we're, that drip. we're playing COD or we're what like hanging out in Discord just chatting and I'm coding or something and they're just like, Your code got that drip? Your gun got that drip? You got that drip? You dripping? And I just wanna blow <laughs> your fucking brains out. But are you dripping though? Are you dripping? Uh, this. This exactly. This is exactly That's a ten. Is. That's a ten? I, That's a ten. I fucking I feel like I feel like I I'm either like one of the zoomerist people in the group or like one of the boomerist. Like when you're, you're, you're the most person. you're the most millennial. It's you like I feel like you conveniently miss whenever we do it. Like before last week's podcast started, we were just screaming "That's a ten, and you joined midway through it with no context. Yeah, but the, eventually, eventually. You guys yeah, eventually, get, I'll become sleep deprived. We'll be playing a game late at night, and I'll, I'll kill someone. And I'll just be like, "Oh, he, kill someone in the game," <laughs> and I'll be like, "Oh, you didn't have the drip." <laughs> and then I'll start saying it, and I'll start saying it more than you, fucking chuckle fucks. Like, yeah, because this is what happens. <laughs> we what shout happens. at you. <laughs> we shout it at you long enough, and then you start saying it's like, it. It's like parasites. It's like you're putting a parasite. Yeah, it's my favorite Korean film. Uh, yeah, the... it'll just consume my brain. Consume the drip. It's, see exactly. Just I love I love me I love memes I love meme me. culture. <laughs> Whittling in your brain, chiseling you. Yeah, man. It's just it's it's how it goes. Um, speaking of, speaking of Zimmer shit, uh, you know the guy, you know how sea shanties like came back. Yeah, I've seen the guy yeah. like sea shanty TikTok. I never watched any of the videos because they look incredibly unfunny. And to me, like sea shanty is the RuneScape one. Yeah. Okay. So please, please explain to me what it is. It's it's just people started doing sea shanty. Well, I think specifically it was this Scottish guy. I'm not sure where. Yeah, it's him is. because on BBC News, uh, he has his own article about it. Yeah, yeah. So it was this Scottish guy started doing like sea shanties on tiktok and then it really fucking blew up like kind of like how uh that fleetwood mac guy who I with the remember. juice like, yeah the guy, the guy with the juice, juice when the that one song played fleetwood mac that really blew up it just kind of blew up yeah. randomly but then everyone was like hey we, we can do that as well similarly to the fleetwood mac guy but there's <laughs> shit tons of sea shanties so they're all doing different variations on it and so yeah. sea shanty tiktok which is, if you're not on TikTok a lot, there's, like, different fucking factions. Because it's all... High school, yeah, it's, it's, it's like a war. It's all Because it's actual children. People. Yeah, it's all high school age people, so they split into, like, high school cliques. Cliques. So there's, like, alt TikTok, straight TikTok, gay TikTok, you know? Gay TikTok, sea TikTok. shanties, sounds like... Sea shanty TikTok. <sighs> And uh, it just randomly blew up. But now, because this guy's sea shanties have blown up so much on TikTok, he fucking quit his job. He oh, quit. He started oh, his no. career. Oh, no, that's a... Uh, right. Sea shanties. This feels like one of those moves where you are in such a small bubble of... Because, like, viral, viral fame, unless you're, like... Prolific is the most short-lived form of fame. Yeah, man. Y you will be forgotten, and you won't get anywhere. That shit's gonna crash harder than the economy in 2008. Like, I'm fucking <laughs> calling it. It's not gonna last. That's, that, yeah, that's... Why the fuck? Like, that's just one of those things that in my head, I'm just sitting here like, why would you do that? It's also, it's not like some, like, 18-year-old or something. He's like... Yeah, the dude's like 30, like... 30, 40, you know? I'm, my brain's calculating, like, uh, what what in his right mind drove him to go, quitting my job because I got big on an app that's, like, chews people up and spits them out in, like, three seconds. Like, who remembers the people that got famous on early TikTok? I fucking don't. Yeah, name, name five Viners. Um... I'm only, Marvel I'm only Logan's. gonna be, no, I was literally only gonna be able to name the ones that have, like, good YouTube careers now. Yeah. I was like, Cody Co, Drew Gooden. The Logan, the Logans, are they not? Yeah, the Pauls. The Pauls. Paul. The Pauls, not the Logans. The Logan, the Logan, 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 and, uh, Jake Logan. 
It's like Mario, Mario. Oh my god, it's Jake. Mario, Mario. Mario, Mario. Fucking Logan. Bro, bro, Logan, Logan, Logan's been arrested. Mama Luigi. Um, yeah, it's just it's just one of those things where it's like, like I'm not a I'm not an avid TikTok user. I'm an avid watch YouTube until it's way too late in the evening viewer. But I've never like, never I've never seen the appeal in like small app stuff like that. Another Please thing continue. About TikTok as well is like it's you get a lot of views on TikTok, and yeah, I've considered making a TikTok for the podcast and just posting clips, um, just for promotion. But you make no fucking money on TikTok. Hank, yeah, Hank Green that's a prom- yes. did a thing about TikTok, and he was like, yep. "I got ten million views on TikTok. I made eighty three cents." What the fuck? Yeah, yeah. Aren't, aren't like TikTokers' revenue like predominantly off like sponsors? Yeah, pretty much entirely. Yeah. So I, I'm not I- sure how the app is making money. Maybe they're just taking a huge cut, or whatever. But like. It's what TikTok's one of those businesses that like it just kind of popped up, yeah. And now it's huge. Yeah, I mean, when I did use TikTok, I don't really anymore. You yeah. can watch like twenty TikToks without seeing. It. You can watch twenty YouTube videos even if they were thirty seconds long without seeing an ad. Mate, I pay four mo- I f- I pay four mo- pounds a month, so I don't have to ever watch YouTube ads. And it is worth it. Fair. Every penny. I I use AdBlock, but you shouldn't you shouldn't on our videos. Just kidding, they're not monetized. <laughs> um but then we make yeah, like, like what like Then we make like thirty P from the first one of these? No, no, I've never made any money from anything on this channel. <laughs> Ever. It's super hard to monetize. It's harder these days. It used to be easier. I used to be a monetized channel and then they Let's like, join Machinima. They, <laughs> do, do, do you want to know how I got monetized? Do you want the tale? Yeah, of, please tell me, actually, because I didn't know this. So I was getting, like, I was doing fucking Easter Hall, Brussels Sprout Challenge, Flash Friday videos, that kind of Back shit. Back in the day. If you're a real one, you know, right? Uh, okay, you're doing Flash Friday, and Flash is now dead. That's that's showing the it's age. so sad. It shows how old we can, we can get, well, you know what, we can get into Flash in a minute, because we didn't talk about it. Yeah, yeah, okay, and, we will. Yeah. Um, but I used to do all these videos, and then I I watched shit tons of Smosh, right? <laughs> <laughs> Who and, didn't? Who didn't? And then uh, Smosh comes out with their new Smosh gaming thing that you can join, and it gets your channel monetized, and they get a cut, and it's, you know, I'm I'm fucking, like, 12, so I think it's a good idea. Yeah. Even though, well, I watch, money! even though, like, I watch a bunch of videos about how Machinima is bad, and I'm like, man, fuck Machinima. <laughs> it's but a really Machinima bad idea to join being Machinima. being literally the worst thing in existence for making money and helping creators. Yeah. Young Gilbert. Money! And then, <laughs> so I'm like, ah, fuck Machinima. And then Smosh Games make one, and I'm like, this will be different. <laughs> <laughs> yes, nothing so, can ever go wrong. So I I sign up to it obviously, and then we were I was with Smosh Games till like two years ago. <laughs> You're what? It's really hard. Were to we in of. Smosh? Was Audible meme in Smosh? Yeah, for, in... for a very short wow, time. We were, we were part of that's the Smosh brand. Really strange. We're, yeah, isn't it? We were a Smosh brand. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Um, so I, I was in Smosh Gaming, and I couldn't get out, and then it turns out you can leave, um, if you just demonetize your <laughs> entire channel for, like, fucking ages, <laughs> so that's what I did. Um, and w- we can, now that the, th- like, criteria have changed, we can't re-monetize, because nowadays it's really hard to get monetized. So before Smosh, I had made, like, maybe two cents. <laughs> And then Two during, pennies. during Smosh, I made about 11, probably, which they took all wow. of it. Wow. Moving on up. Yeah, they, they took literally all of it, just to clarify. Uh, <laughs> and, and then after Smosh, we've made literally nothing because we're not monetized. So we that's fucking ex- wild, though. Although we I just ex- see ads Smosh on our videos, podcast. which fucking pisses me off. <laughs> yeah, that's just, just kind of. I'm, I'm surprised. I mean, it makes sense. Can we turn ads off? Good, no. Uh, it's the uh, same no, thing that I don't Twitch have a does. There anymore. You like, yeah, the they, thing. yeah, they changed it, and Twitch did it as well. It's like even if you choose no advertisers on your channel, they will still 
Put no, advertisements you, uh, you, on you your just channel. Can't choose it anymore. Oh so wow! Unless really? you're monetized, mm -hmm. you can't decide how many ads are run. When you're monetized, you can then choose ads and stuff like that. Yeah. Um. So you have to be a certain size to actually have any control. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. Ads. That's real nice. Yeah. I, uh, yeah. Uh, That's it's, not. It's annoying, but it's it's fine. It doesn't really affect us right now. Yeah. Um. But maybe, it's just one of those things. Maybe it's, it's just you know. Point, yeah. Wishful thinking, but yeah, you never know. You might make a whole pound off this I mean, channel. To be at some honest, point. If, if even if we weren't like a relatively huge channel, even with like a K subscriber, subscribers or whatever, it would affect us. Yeah. Um, at that point, but you know, we'll, we'll see. Is whatever. I don't really I be honest, to, make, uh... <laughs> to make money <laughs> off of this. Uh, whenever, whenever I get like ads on, like, like you ever, like, you know, those like seven second long, like, dumb meme clips you get. Yeah, yeah. Do you ever get ads on those? Because I get ads on those, and like, my immediate reaction is just to close the video and reopen it again, and I gamble that hopefully the ad will have decided to go, okay, this is a seven second video. I'm not going to show you a 15 second ad. Yeah, I, I've done it before, um, where I've taken the gamble like more than once. <laughs> Oh man! Sometimes I just close it and open it again until it changes. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I'm not eating any of this crap. I I remember this was actually kind of recent. I was watching like a like a ten minute video. I think it, I can't even remember what it was. It was like a short documentary on like Smash Bros or something like that. And yeah. then an ad came up like halfway through, and I was just like, nah. <laughs> I just closed it entirely and like. <laughs> <laughs> just stopped watching YouTube. Oh. I don't know why it struck me so hard. It was like some fucking car advert or some shit, and I was just like, nah, man. I'm not watching. I this. had that, like, an experience with it. I was, except when I got my new laptop in, like, a year, a year and a half ago now. Yeah. Uh, oh, that's a while ago. Jesus. Um, <laughs> I had paid for, like, YouTube Premium for, like, four months at that point, and I was, like, I logged in, like, on Chrome and stuff. And like it doesn't log you in on YouTube automatically. So I went on and I was like, and like looked up a video or like I just wanted to go stream from my phone because I was already watching something and streamed it on. And I was like, wait a minute, why is it? Why is it playing an ad? Uh, what's this? And it took me a second to be like, wait, this isn't the video I'm watching. This is an advert. Yeah. Like, yeah I was so like... absent minded. You ever get those like hour long adverts before? The ones that are just like film movies. The yeah, ones yeah. I got one during uh the Birmingham like tech thing we talked about um like last week. And it was like Samsung's press conference and I was like, I don't why the fuck are you giving me this in an ad? See, I just wanna like I I wonder how much would they they get paid if you watched that whole thing? I once got like, um, an, I once got an MKBHD video as an ad because it, he was reviewing a smartphone. It was like an LG, and LG were like, "Yeah, that's a pretty good review." So they made it an ad. They made the full ten minute video an ad. And what the fuck? You could pay to promote other people's videos. Like if someone right, I to, yeah, I swear to God, I've seen a Linus Tech Tips video as an ad one time. Yeah, yeah. someone could pay to promote this video, and I could have no say in it, and it would just yeah. appear as an ad in front of other people's videos. And while that might hurt branding, uh, so it's a bit weird. Um, yeah, it, it's like it's a thing you could do anyway. Um, and it was like a fucking an MKBHD full video in front of something else I was watching, and I just watched the whole video, and at the end of it, like he was doing the outro, and I clicked skip ad, and I was like. I wonder how much that just cost LG for a video I was probably already going to watch. Because, <laughs> like, imagine you watch that full Samsung fucking... Yeah, like an hour-long press yeah. conference. Like, and then you're, you're just like, I know cheap. I'm not going to buy that phone. Yeah, I've never bought an Android. Like, but, like, yeah, you've wasted an hour of your time. But you've just randomly cost that, <laughs> that, that fucking And then there's, money. like... Then there's another thing, like, you know how when YouTube's like, oh, would you like to take a survey about ads you've seen or would... I no, because then it. you're just gonna give me those ads! I, I only... I literally only do it if I see something I'm like, I'd like to get an ad for that. It gives me Apex ads, like, 24-7, and I fucking hate it, because I play the game, and I've given money to the developers, I've bought microtransactions, you don't need to advertise it to me! 
<laughs> yeah. The and surely they know. Surely they know that I play it. We know what we know what the internet's like. You'll be talking about Googling something, and then it'll come up as like the suggested Google search. Like a couple of weeks ago, we talked about Avatar the video game, and then at the same time, you got a recommended ad about Avatar the video game for <laughs> PlayStation. Like that wild, man. Um, although I wonder if there's any merit to that in terms of like psychologically, you see that ad and you're thinking about Apex later when you turn on your Xbox, like more. <laughs> And God no, because you know? I'm, I'm always thinking about Apex anyway. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, but I wonder if there is an effectiveness to like yeah. reinforcing advertising on. I would imagine. I would say there is. Yeah, there probably. probably. I don't know how the human psyche works, but like, um, it's more effective to advertise getting a car to someone who drives, who, who drives, or like wants to get a car than someone yeah. who's like, oh, whatever, a car. I haven't even thought about it. <laughs> Yeah, you know, while while twisting that person's like perspective might be worth more, there's it's a much higher risk. Yeah, there's less chance you're gonna. Weird thing. Sorry, about... I'm, I'm this, biting this, my lip right this now. This is becoming <laughs> oddly like course relevant to me with like statistics and AI and psychology and stuff like that. And I'm sure with Sean, I'm sure Sean does some of it. Yeah. Some I'm, I'm literally doing statistical programming as a third of my yeah, semester. Yeah. Um, the closest sure thing I've done to computer-related things in my course is finding out that under, like, European and, like, domestic law, you cannot, like, classify software as a good. Oh. And that's about it. Really? Yeah. Uh, under, like, the Sale of Goods Act, which is like, this, you sold me a faulty washing machine, fuck you, give me my money back, the thing oh. that, like, legally entitles you to get your money back. Um, so, so say so your, like, video game didn't work. Yeah, software doesn't count. Oh, that's really weird. Uh, so that's, the, like, a company policy thing? No, this is a, like, European... No, 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 and, I mean, something, yeah. like... For well, people to give you your money back if it's a fault. Yeah, it's a company. A company thing. Well, that's the thing. It depends. Is if it's a fault, there's like literally an explicit thing, which is like if it's the storage medium that's fucked, you're okay because that's hardware. But the software installed on it <laughs> does not count. That is not oh. covered under like any consumer protection. <laughs> Our friend uh, Liam, who's probably like who's listening to this right now, is having a slow descent into madness in chat. Oh, what's he? What's he talking AI about? AI will take over because Elon yeah, that sounds like it. that sounds like lame. Maybe you, the AI you, will take over. Do you think the AI will take over thing um ha has much merit? Do you think it'll happen? I don't give a fuck. Yeah. I've I've watched Blade Runner. Show the I, I don't think it will. Because I always think about. I it. think we're fine. Yeah. I, I, at the, like, at this the is... end of the day, there's always an unplug from the mains. No, well, that's not true. If, if you yeah. program an AI smart enough to destroy all of humanity, you're not going to be able to unplug that. Yeah, that, it's just not going to work. Um, I think where we get, we're very close to a point where we're going to get like just learning AI that will teach itself to be smarter than it is. But yeah, here's my thing. Like, like no. everyone makes the argument yeah. that like, oh, it'll just be an unempathetic killing machine. But I'm like confident you can't be effectively actually intelligent with uh, you, right no you know what it'll be like in like every single online thing where it's like this takes in inputs from like other internet users it just turns out horny that's what happens yeah. like ai dungeon always turns into like yeah. um or things like, and stuff yeah like fucking um that that microsoft's t Ended yeah, never. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, AI. Yeah, AI just ended up an angry little Nazi. <laughs> That's yeah. What fucking happened. And then there was the the Japanese one that just got depression and tried to kill itself. Yeah. Exactly. That yeah. AI will not be smart without empathy. I just don't think yeah. it's possible yeah. because if you can build an AI that's smart enough to like comprehend how to destroy humans, it's smart enough to comprehend what it is and then have an existential crisis. That's why no, I don't think AI I will destroy everyone. No Google things for me. Google. And also, I just don't think AI is that close. I've never subscribed to the whole, like, machines will replace humanity bullshit that they've been, like, really... I think machines will replace humans in a shit tons of things. 
I they think will, but they're never gonna, like, we will never become fucking, like, androids, I don't think. No, no, I don't think that will happen. Um, yeah. I meant more in, like, roles. Really what I want oh, yeah. is, like, machines to run the world, and people can just, like, fuck about. They're just like, well, you kind of don't have then, anything then, you need uh, to do. So just like then that turns into like shit. the post-apocalyptic like oh but then the, then the, the you you you've played Detroit to become human Gilbert have you sweaty? Uh yeah well I've seen gameplay over <laughs> yeah I know what happened I they always seem to like it's just it's just one of those like sci-fi pushes where it's like er like why are people mad? But it's like the android took my low-paying manual labor job. Ah yeah it's. Although, you do need to, like... I'm not gonna get into the whole capitalism, socialism thing right now. I mean, but... I could, if you want to get into, like, partially, I'm like, dude, there's always gonna be a need for, like, even, like, blue-collar... Wait, what's what? Blue-collar is, like, manual labor stuff. I'm just saying, stuff, if, right? if robots yeah. take over everything, and... Um... In a, in a capitalist society, like... And people own those robots, then you just have a human slave class. But if it's like Joseph, you're you're welcome to tick off all the things on the bingo card right now. <laughs> uh, but if it's like in a sort That's of record time, you know, not quite that, like socialist or some other alternative, um, you can make it like, hey, everyone can do whatever they want, equal playing field kind of thing. But if it continued as it is, it would it'd probably go pretty downhill. <laughs> I want to go to a robot fighting ring. That's what I want to do. But hey, the segue, Flash Games. Uh, robot in honor robot. of it being, in honor of it being dead. What was everyone's favorite Flash game? Oh man, that's so tough. Like, it is a tough one. That's do a not, loaded question. Right. right okay, do before, not dare say fucking right. Cla- flash Games. Flash mm-hmm. Games. Fucking Christ. Um, favorite Flash Games. Right. Many clip. Friv or kill math games. Many clip. Friv. Friv. I never u- I never used Friv, like genuinely. I'm a Friv guy through and through. Bro, you never used Friv for school? No. For no. School, Gen- Gen- school, they put for school they in there. And it got past there, so, many got so, so many filters. I'm so impressed. Well, I am impressed. Well, I am impressed. Yeah. Oh, there goes Sean because his headset died. I can tell because the mic echo yeah, started. The- um, sorry about the echo there, by the way, guys. Uh, <laughs> cool. Yeah, I mean, uh, like. Head- headphone issues. Yeah. Cool yeah. math games was good for, like, that one thing. Run. You but yeah, mini clip was the games. man. I I Bro, delved deep played... into the flash game sauce because I had my PS2 and sometimes I got bored. And there was this one game called like I think it was like Cyborg Two or some dumb shit. Yeah. But it was like uh side scrollery like shooter with big open levels. Well, not open level. It was just like one of those overly gory like every pixel kind of games. I really enjoy like the every pixel and every voxel kind of style. But it was like, you know, child me enjoyed the blood and the gore because, you know, I was one of those kids. You were fucked up. <laughs> yeah. Man, you, I could not tell you how many times I've beaten, what was it, like, Portaloo? Portaloo. Port, port, port like, like fl- plane, you turn it into a plane. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. Oh, good shit. Yeah, my favorite game is a very similar game. Uh, Earn to Die. I fucking loved Earn to Die. You just <laughs> drove through zombies. And your little car. Yeah, that's the oh, one. That. Yeah, they so put that good. on the fucking app store like yeah. a while ago. I, I have bought it. it. It's on my phone. It's really good. Yeah. There's so many. I'm so glad that like there's like the preservation projects for Flash games. I'm so glad the Henry Flash Point St- is a yeah. godsend. I'm so glad about the Henry Stickman collection because I fucking love those games. Yeah, those, yeah. Were, those were good too. Was it like Fancy Pants Adventures? Fancy Pants Adventure got like, there's arcade cabinets of Fancy Pants Adventure, believe it or not. Damn. Like, the, not like old arcade, like remember when, well not even like remember when, but it's like there was like a strange trend of like, oh, we can put games that are on the app store onto arcade cabinets. For... Oh yeah, like when Doodle Jump came to arcade cabinets. Yeah, yeah Doodle yeah. Jump came yeah. to arcade cabinets for some fucking strange reason. Yeah. And uh, uh do y'all ever play Fire Boy and the Water Girl? Yeah. Actually man. no. I I did play it, it's but I don't the best. It. I don't think it's like I don't think it's out there. It's good. I I don't I'm not I've never been a fla- fan of platformers, especially not in the flash game format. I always liked the um really right. fucked up ones. I like the stick stick games like all like the stick one. Yeah. He just likes yeah. murder. Yeah, I do. Uh Gilbert. 
do you remember on Fred there I don't remember the name of it. It was like Shikamura or something. I can't remember. Right, I'm not. I'm gonna. I, right, I think it is Shikamura uh, because someone else has talked about this to me, and it might have been you. It's, it's a game where you have to find like the star, and it's like a monochromatic, like black and white puzzle game, and it's like you just do different. Th- right, I'm gonna try and no find it. Clue you're talking about. Chat, if you know, please tell us what fucking flash game yeah, Sean's fuck talking, about? talking about. Shikamura. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't think I've ever heard of it. I, I I was lost in the sauce for Flash games. It was strange how they, like, like of course, with, like, changing programs and stuff, it's like they teetered off in the end, but it was like, Flash games are the shit, and Flash games were the start of, like, so many, like, big-name brands. Or, like, indies. But, like, a lot of indie developers got their start in Flash games. Yeah, like, fucking, who didn't start on Newgrounds? Also, remember, I don't think Agario was actually in Flash. I think you can still play it. But yeah, like, you can still play it. Agario very much had the energy of a Flash game. Yeah. Agario Nothing really the has game. the energy of, like, a free online game like that anymore, other than, like, Scriblio. Yeah. But even then, Nothing Scriblio's has just, Flash Scriblio's energy. just Picto Chat. Or yeah, it's just Picto. Yeah. Pic- Not Picto Chat. Well, Pictionary. Pictionary. Picto Pictionary. Chat's Pictionary. the DS thing. Yeah, uh, <laughs> But yeah, it was never a, like... Original idea. Yeah. And now it's like, it's kind of, in a way, it's sad because, like, in comparison, like, free games that get shipped out on, like, the Quest, on, like, consoles, it's like, wow, there's a, yeah, that's Rec Room. Cool. And, like, in, in, a, but in a way, like, it gives you so much more stuff, but I feel like a spoiled child. I feel like they've given me so much stuff that I'm bored. Like, with Flash games, it's like, there's so little there and you'd make your amusement out of it. But with, like, something like Rec Room, the options are unlimited, and when the options are unlimited... You grow greedy. Yeah. And, the, like, stuff stuff goes, like, too ambitious and ends up yeah. not being good. I mean, remember how good Roblox was before it? Roblox is a wild trip, man. Roblox has been taken over by actual children again, which I find really strange. Cause I feel when like I play it always Roblox... had the majority yeah. of its base as actual children. Except, and then there's, like, people who can't afford COD who yeah. like to play Phantom Forces. Yeah, man. Honestly, if you're broke as fuck, playing Roblox ain't the worst thing to do. Like, there's a lot in Roblox. It's fun. I very much enjoyed escaping prison in Roblox. This is something I really enjoy in games. I really enjoy breaking out of prison when you can do it. Like, Like legitimately rather than... Like, how you want instead of, like, a Mm -hmm. story. So, like, Skyrim, there's, like, a thousand and fucking one ways you could break out of a prison in Skyrim. You could, like, you you could rob the guards, steal the key, break out, beat them to death with your bare hands. You could shoot flames at them. You know, at them. You, you, you can use all sorts of skills. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's actually, like, a, a, like a small deluge. Yeah. And, uh, but, just, but, like... like... Yeah, anyway... Roblox had a prison escape game, yeah. and it was very good. That's why I'm talking about that. Oh, hey, it's Rory. Yeah, you up for the next episode of the stream, bud? <laughs> this uh, this sign. <laughs> okay, I, I'm not gonna lie. I just muted Rory. <laughs> this sign can't stop me because I can't read. Genuinely, man, go in the right fucking chat. Um, <laughs> before we talk about. It, I was, gonna... I was gonna talk about prison in video games because there's a like you know yeah. the escapists. Uh as someone who has played the escapists one and two, yeah. it's horrifically boring. Yeah, no, I didn't enjoy it. Yeah. But in something like Skyrim, like you have like you can break out of jail when you get arrested, you have the whole like Sidna Mine storyline, like a way out's entire concept is a prison break. But it's one of those things that I feel like is tackled really poorly in, like, media. Like, we all played GTA V. You remember the prison break heist? Oh, yeah, yeah. You remember the fact that, like, fucking sucks? Yeah, it's not very interesting. It's mostly just shooting outside and then driving. Yeah. And it's also I've... very unclear in points. Yeah, yeah. I mean, a lot of GTA, you're like, what am I meant to do? <laughs> I, uh, yeah, the story of GTA Five is so good. The online story is so the good. The on, 
Yeah, and then of course there's like, um, like they added a new island that's in online only. Like I tried. they still, right? It's not good supposedly. Uh, uh, from doing some research, it's like the heist rewards are pitiful, and all the re stuff's really expensive. It's clearly like a last ditch money maker. Another last ditch money maker is the fact they've made Red Dead Redemption's online mode a standalone game that you can buy for money, even though it's terrible. But, uh, my point was gonna be just, like, um, I think it's like, a, it's like a tenner. It's not much, but for, like, you get an award, award-winning, like, story-driven game without the award-winning story-driven part. Yeah, I suppose and, if you're just looking to try the mechanics, but... Yeah. Even then, it's hard to I found play. it. Oh, you found it! What's the, uh, what's the Flash game, bud? I found it in a, I found it in a YouTube video, um, called... <laughs> Uh, Friv Weird Finding Star Game. <laughs> uh, it's a weird, weird spelt wrong from 2017. Oh. It's called Hoshi Saga. H O S H I Saga. Huh. Can we get Hoshi Saga on stream, please? Um, there will, maybe we'll do a Hoshi Saga stream at some point. <laughs> we'll, we'll, uh, we'll, but uh, while we're just like, you know, while we're engineer gaming, um, Gilbert, you want to talk about your recent Call of Duty experience Listen, as man, someone who... I hate to fucking admit it, but it's actually good, you know? So, yeah. er earlier today, I had, like, one I'm of the, the only holder. games, like, playing games experiences that I've had in a while without having, like, the boys there to make it funny. Um, please, just, please tell me. I, it's not that interesting, I'm not gonna lie, so sorry. <laughs> just, it's interesting but, to me, I played a game. I was just sitting playing uh, Cartel, which is like this COD map, and a, a new COD came out, Black Ops Cold War. If you haven't played it, it's pretty good. Um, I was playing this map called Columbia, which ha is, has become my Cartel, favorite Cartel, which is in Columbia. Cartel, which is in Columbia, which has become my favorite map because we had that interesting conversation about um, fictional wars in it. <laughs> which I want to actually get back onto in a second. And um, it's just a very fun map to play. And the other night, Elliot recommended that I start using the AK in the game. And I was just playing COD with Spotify on, listening to uh, music by this guy on YouTube called Value Select. He's fucking great. Man. Yeah. Uh, definitely check out Value Select. Um, I was just listening to music by Value Select. And it's like dumb fucking joke music. And I'm just running around, like, top of the leaderboard the whole game. Just fucking killing people with this AK-47. Not giving a fuck. I got, like, 36 kills. My team lost. <laughs> My team fucking lost. Because I was the only one on the point. I got the most points on the point, aside from one guy. Who was bought Welcome the to the Call of Duty experience. I lost because I was playing the game as intended. <laughs> I got the most points aside from the guy who was bottom of our team leaderboard because he had two kills. I don't know how the fuck he was doing that. He must have been running on point and dying. Yeah. Um, and then I got the most kills, obviously. I don't. I didn't have the best KD. Someone on their team did. Um, yeah. But I got the most still... points. It was, I was top of the leaderboard. It was very pog. And I was just fucking listening to Max Renner talking about like random bullshit. It was very fun. <laughs> I know, it's just so Man. like, what the fuck? I'm playing an online game by myself and actually enjoying it because that's not happened. That see, that's a rare thing. Like, yeah. Cold War is the only Call of Duty game I've ever played multiplayer solo. Really? Should I yeah. buy COD? N n mm, we'll let's idea. let's do a segment on it first, and then you can talk about. Because I remember one of your right. In a direct comparison to its predecessor, Modern Warfare, which has now been reduced to a husk of its former self to shell out the free Battle Royale mode Warzone, uh, which is a shame, but I understand that Activision wants to pump money out of everyone, but of course, like, it's a switch in dev teams, so it's a switch in gameplay style. Personally, uh, I liked Modern Warfare. I was really good at modern. Not to brag, I was really good at modern warfare. <laughs> like I was really fucking good at it. But yeah, you're you're good at it. I think you're good at it, this. Though. It got, I'm I'm less good at Cold War, and I kind of like that. There's like the skill based matchmaking exists. I feel like there's more of a challenge because once I start doing good, then I get my ass kicked the next few matches. I feel. But, I um, feel like 
I am way better at Cold War. Like, so much better. It's it's a change in style. Cold War's a lot more arcadey, like, Modern Warfare, and to just, like... I feel like there's a bit, like there's a weird identity crisis going on with shooter games at the moment. Like, Black Ops as a franchise, Modern Warfare as a franchise, and then Battlefield as a franchise are all trying to be each other at different periods of time. Yeah. Like, Modern Warfare had, like, mounting on cover and stuff like that, but they took out other things like the ability to vote for what map you wanted to play. Yeah. So... Two steps forward, about seven steps back. But then Cold War takes out the mounting, but lets you have map voting. And then, well, Battlefield 5, I haven't played it, but everyone yeah, hated it, and uh, the franchise is kind of at an odd point. But Cold War is definitely more arcadey. The st- comparing the stories, which is, yeah, comparing the stories of the Call of Duty games, not like plot-based, but like gameplay-based. Uh, Modern Warfare, great like, story, nice, like, introducing all the mechanics. Uh, Cold War made me do puzzles. I've never been intellectually challenged in a Call of Duty game until I spent half an hour, like, cracking codes to do a side mission. (laughs) Um, I find the game fun. I like that period of history. That's, like, my most, like, my favorite period of history. I like the, the weapons are fun. It's not overly campy yet. Uh, like, you can get, like, yeah, yeah, because of course they added like anime gun skins and shit. That being said, Cold War introduced uh, like more like vehicle music packs, so it's really nice that whenever I'm doing a big map that involves vehicles, every time anyone gets into a jet ski, it plays It's Tricky by Run DMC every <laughs> time they get on it until they get off of it. That's so fucking stupid. But it's so it's bad. so dumb, but it's still like fun. Like the it's a fun game, and it's definitely one of my more enjoyable Call of Duty experiences as someone who spent that. many times screaming at Modern Warfare. I enjoy it so much more than Modern Warfare. I get so tilted on Modern Warfare so quickly. Same! It all feels bullshit. I don't know if it's just because it's a new game right now, but I played a I'm... lot of solo Modern Warfare, and I never Not had fun. a game as good as I did today. It's. Earlier. I think it's because of the way it's set up as, like, because you can't mount around a corner, it's very hard to, like, have yourself fully hidden in cover. Yeah. And then similarly, I don't know if this is an actual thing, but um, when I played Modern Warfare, of course, with enough perks, you could throw C4, like, at fucking light speed. In Black, in Black Ops Cold War, which I've now played for about 12 hours, I've been, like, C4 bombed in a multiplayer game, like, twice. Yeah. I... Don't yeah, understand why. So much, and it used, it's the most infuriating thing ever because like they still haven't caught on to the trend that people do it, so it doesn't have any like indicator that someone's even thrown anything. But uh, I digress about complaining about the game's mechanics. But just the the whole thing's fun. I was just really like like one of the bits I like that's really dumb and doesn't even add anything is like if you press right trigger, you can view the additional details of what all your like attachments do, and it's like yes, I'd like to see the. Like bullet velocity in meters per second. Yeah. Thanks. Such I, a dumb also, thing. Prop but I love it. Addition. Prop hunt as a great. You know they had prop hunt in Black Ops Three. No. It I, was. I it was. Yeah. It was a very late addition. But I never uh, played any COD before the last one. Oh yeah, you never did. Yeah. I entirely forgot. Yeah. So this <laughs> is the best COD I've played. Yeah. Out of the two. Yeah. It's definitely, it's a fun, it's a really fun game. I like that Modern Warfare spent too long trying to take itself, like, the campaign is filled with suicide bombings and, like, you raid a house and you can flashbang a baby. Meanwhile, like, there's a mission in Cold War's campaign where it's, like, it's not spoilers because it's a Call of Duty game. (laughs) <laughs> but, like, you're infiltrating a Russian base that's, like, they're preparing for an invasion of the states, so they've, like, redone an entire American town complete with an arcade, and the first place you walk into is an arcade, and you have your squad mate Woods busts through the door, tries to, like, tactical takedown what turns out to be a mannequin. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. And then you can just go up and play old Activision arcade games like Petfall for the Atari 2600 and shit like that. While Woods is like, I never, I was never good at video games. Pong? Now that's a video game. <laughs> They've clearly realized that the dumb angle is the fun angle. And the zombies yeah. mode is like a million times better than it's been in the past like six years. Yeah, yeah. Zombies is also fun, which I, the last one just straight up didn't have. Yeah. It, it, the only cool thing it had was Warzone, and I fucking hated Warzone so Yeah, much. it had Warzone, which isn't even, you can even attribute it to it, because it's a standalone title, technically. Yeah, and then basically. it had Survival and Spec Ops, Survival, which we didn't get until October of last year. You know, two months before the release date of the next installment in the franchise. Thank you, Sony exclusive contracts. I which think I had uninstalled uh, Modern Warfare by that point. I'm like this close to uninstalling it as well. Like, it. You haven't uninstalled it? Why have you? Why? No! I don't know, because it's there, and I'm always like, I'll go back and play Modern Warfare at some point. My Wait, only when issue with Call of Duty. are going to look at those two games and go, like, oh yeah, I'll play the yeah. worst one? <laughs> They've even changed them to the same, like, like they're the same picture on Xbox, yeah. except for, like, one has MW in the top, like, right corner. Yeah. The only problem I have with Cold War is its instability. The game crashes so often to the point where. Uh, when it crashed for me, it would crash for other people playing with me. It I had to turn ray tra- Yeah, it's, I had to turn fucking ray really tracing off. For me, yeah. It's in and out, but then, like, it's like one decently big con for a lot of good. Yeah. I feel like his crashes aren't frequent, but they're big and annoying. Yeah. You have to, like, they used to be them. a lot more frequent, because I bought it, like, closer to launch, and I, yeah. like, didn't play it. Because, like, campaign, smooth as butter. Any multiplayer? No. <laughs> Fuck you! You're not allowed to play. Yeah, I'm. I'm a late adopter. I only started playing this week, so you know. Yeah, yeah but yeah, I I think it's good. Um, on the topic of should you buy it, I didn't pay for it, so I don't think I can comment. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, as someone who paid for it, um, you know, I'm really not sure because I've al- I've always grudged paying money for a card game. Because, like, you know, mentality, oh, they're all the same thing, burr, burr, burr. But, um... I haven't bought one since Black Ops 2. I'm going to put it that way. And I bought Black Ops 2 in the last month of its life, pre-owned. <laughs> I think you enjoy even it. You... I think you definitely yeah. get fun out of it. I don't think you'd there... play it as much as us. Would I get yeah. 50 pounds worth of fun out of it? That's really mm-hmm. fucking hard to say. That's I a stretch, to because... any game worth 50 pounds. Yeah, I used to be a like buy when new, enjoy the game thing, and then like with how the how fast the value on games depreciates now, like even on sale, like Watch Dogs Legion two months after release was fifteen pounds off. Yeah, I I struggled to see you not being able to get it for like thirty five quid. Yeah, I, after no, like a little away, while. Yeah. yeah, like spring sale or Fair. some shit, you know. Definitely. If it was thirty five quid, yeah, I'd get it. Yeah, definitely, great game. But fifty quid's worth of game, mm. Mm. which uh, leads me to another good like segue, because it affects both games. Um, Sony's strange exclusivity contracts. I fucking hate them. I hate them too. Yeah, just I annoying. hate. They're I hate that like they clearly were like clutching at straws for Cold War because it's like. Uh, and, and, and if you play on PlayStation, you get double XP weekends every it's, weekend. It's not going to make someone who has an Xbox buy a PlayStation. It's going to make someone yeah. who has both buy the game for PlayStation. Buy it on, yeah. And Unless then, all their and friends then, already have it on Xbox. Yeah. Then in like, well, remember, it's crossplay, So it doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. Yeah, uh, hold on. Allow me to pick up. Hold on. Um, <laughs> Okay. <laughs> My next point was going to be, so Fall Guys has been in the whole, like, sphere lately. Right. Please explain to me, because I thought I saw a news article saying it is coming to Game Pass. Right. Then I saw Here's one that says, the issue. Yeah, no, I, saw, I saw a comment on the thread which explained it very well. Devolver aren't going to say, yes, we're going on to Game Pass, because the exclusivity contract with Sony hasn't ended yet. Yeah. They're not so they, gonna sa- like sabotage themselves, but they want yeah, to Game Pass. Because as like I was reading a thread on like the Xbox subreddit, because people were very like someone saw the like tweet thread with the journalist involved, and it was all very like 
everyone shared the same sentiment, which is, Fall Guys is a fun game for about 20 minutes. If it's not on Game Pass, I'm not going to buy it. And it was like, the shared sentiment was throughout the comments, just like, yeah, it's fun, all right. It's not that much money's worth of fun. And it's just one of those, like, strange things where it's it like... It also has a free-to-play model. Yeah, it has a free-to-play model in a game that's paid for. Yeah. Which I find very so strange. They, so, they're yeah, all so very heavily reliant on consumables these days. Or cosmetics, yeah. Even, sorry. It's definitely, like, just, like, the way the market's, like, shifted. Because it's like, we make the game available, and then here's some, like, additional extra. I feel like in COD it matters less, because, like... No one's staring at you when you kill them. They're just angrily skipping the kill cam. Or maybe that's just me, but I digress. Um, like Fall Guys has this weird model. It also had the unfortunate time frame of it came out and then Among Us came out. Yeah. And everyone well, was Among like... Us blew up. Among Us, yeah, like blew up. And everyone's like, <laughs> what, what the fuck's uh, Fall Guys? Among Us? Among, among, us? among Us? I have fuck I Among Us. If- if it came out on Xbox Game Pass, it would get shit tons of users. And then if yeah. it went off a month later, it would get like a, a good few people would buy it. Like a lot of people would buy it. It would lose a chunk yeah. of that base, though. Oh, yeah, it would lose m- most of that base, like 75% minimum of that base. But but it would it would drive sales really well, and people would be like, oh, cool, it's on Game Pass, and play their Game Pass games from it. Or get a free trial of Game Pass to play Fall Guys. I think it'd be mutually yeah. beneficial. I'm getting offered Game Pass for a pound again. <laughs> really? Yeah. But I, I steal it off Liam, so... Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> Thanks, Liam. Do you still get Disney Plus with Game um, with, with your? Pass? Yeah. Was that a thing? Yeah, you got three yeah, months Yeah, it was Disney like three Plus months free. Pass. That's wild, I never knew about that. Do you? Uh, let, let's look it up. Uh, I'm pretty sure you do. I haven't accepted- uh, None of those ones seem- Like, it still advertises me like, You can get D- Discord Nitro and Game Pass. And I'm like, okay, cool. Okay, so before we entirely move away from COD, Yeah? We talked about this the other night while we were playing Cartel. And it was- Yeah. We, we don't like where they're currently going, and we think they should just do fictional wars. Yeah. Me and Adam both agreed that the best fictional war they could do is like Japan versus a unified Korea. We think that yeah. cool as fuck. Sean No No one really explores the Korea angle anymore, yeah. but yeah, Sean, what it what it, right. What two countries pick, would you choose? Pick two countries you'd put in a first person shooter game to be the next like Call of Duty esque. Yeah. Who who's duking it out? Uh, huh, okay. Um I would like to see, like, hmm, I think Japan is a good shout, but, like, pit them up against, like, New Zealand, but, like, a super-powered New Zealand. Okay. See, okay. In, in my hypothetical, it would be, like, Japan, and t- like, having taken over or colonized all of Australia before the UK did. So, like, Japan with Australia. Uh, with that, that's Japanese. an interesting yeah. alternate history. Versus yeah, like alternate. Korea with a chunk yeah. of China. Like, that's what I wanted. Oh, yeah. Because then you can have you no get, land yeah. battles in those places. There you go. You get 30 days uh, free Disney Plus with um, Game Pass. With Game Pass. Oh, okay. Um, what I was just going to say is like, there's only, like, it bores me that there's only two big superpowers that ever get, exp- like, no, there's three. The right, go-to there's... is Russia bad, or re- pick a Muslim predominant country backed by Russia bad, yeah. Uh, yeah. followed by the mid, like, 2000s stretch of China and North Korea, but not at the same time. Yeah. And it's there's America a... good, UK good. There's a lot of, like, PlayStation 2 shooter games that I've owned, and even, like, earlier Xbox titles. Even fucking, uh, I played Homefront the Revolution. Like, the whole thing is, like, the main villain is, like, a unified Korea. And as much as that game sucks, really interesting. <laughs> really interesting. 
they should do they should do I like the alternate history sort of angle. They should do like um they should do what's it oh, what is it my brain's not working. Um they should do like the British Empire is still around versus America. <laughs> yeah, that'd be cool. I'd I'd be down for that. Or like I would. Uh, and like at AU versus EU, like African Union versus European Union, but the African countries are like develop, develop. I don't know of a single game set in Africa other than Far Cry Two. Hmm. But war elephants, man, it's fucking war. <laughs> it's pog. You know? I was thinking more like the many the various of... African civil wars, but yeah, war elephants, though, man. This yeah. gotta be like a Lego Egypt game. What? Lego Assassin's Creed. I don't know why Origins. I said Lego. Yeah, just why did you say Lego? Game. Yeah. Assassin's Creed Origins. Have you guys heard That's that the it. new the new AC games are gonna be in medieval Germany and medieval France and everyone's like, just fucking do India or some shit. We don't want France what? again. India. Yeah, yeah, they already did France, they did Paris. I don't really care Nobody to see the it. same location twice. Yeah, I don't think and they like... should continue doing Europe. I think they should do like Japan or India. Yeah. Or like I feel all like the do places like Native America do Native American. Like, cool. I feel like they're running out out of locations to do like Far really Cry not. had it going when they started like making up places they were like Hope County Montana Hope County's fake then like the place in Far Cry 3 is made up yeah. or based off like some random small island but like Assassin's Creed has always been like uh Italy 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 Russia China colonial America um France I guess Egypt I have a England I have a I have a pitch Okay. What's your I have pitch? A pitch for the new is it, like, is it like a bit pitch or like a good pitch? <laughs> just let him have his pitch, man. Just let him go. Yeah, let's, uh, let's just do a pitch. Do, right? Do you know? Do you guys know that island? That I can't remember where it is, but it's like this. This like human colony that have lived there for like the past two thousand years, but they haven't like progressed at all, like past the Stone Age. Yeah, yeah. And like they attack like reporters who try and go near it. Yeah, like, yeah. They attack the yeah, Sentinel from... Island. I don't know one. Yeah, yeah, right. Okay. I think they should make an Assassin's Creed game where they one of the one of the people from Sentinel Island or whatever has a he finds a temple on the island and it's it's an assassin temple. <laughs> and he gets a hidden blade and gets told, Go find the what's it it's like an apple or something they've got to find in Assassin's Creed. Well, yeah, yeah and no, it's like the Apple of Eden's the whole thing in like okay. the earlier games. And then in the later games they entirely gave That's up like, and was just like, eh, assassin lore. They're like, your island is going to sink if you do not find the Apple of Eden in the far-off lands. And then he has to go to... He's an, he's an ancient man, but he is in modern day, and he has to just go around murdering people. Right. Get the Apple back. That would be kind of intricate, right. So do the, it, it is the past, like, it's like the whole thing about Assassin's Creed is like, oh look, it's in the past, but it's actually in, it's the past well, in modern day. no, except it's like, uh, you want me to explain some of the bullshit in the timeline? <laughs> okay. Because the timeline was fine until Ubisoft decided they want every single series they have to occur in the same universe. I remember that. <laughs> because canonically, Assassin's Creed is in the same universe as Watch Dogs, because in Watch Dogs 1, there's a side mission to kill, like, an Abstergo, like, Abstergo being, like, the Knight Templar bad guys in modern day in Watch Dogs 1. And then if you play Assassin's Creed 4, they mention that that guy is dead and get all sad because, like, they link both games. Then they do this a few times, but then in Watch Dogs, Ubisoft itself also exists as a company that <laughs> makes games? Because in Watch Dogs 2, there's a side mission where you go and find a teaser for like an upcoming Ubisoft release. To make matters worse, in Watch Dogs Legion, uh, there's a DLC, there's, a, there's an assassin in one of the DLCs, which is apparently not canon, but... Actually, yeah, because Watch Dogs Legion isn't canon, because in... Far Cry lore, and the world gets nuked! Which is linked in files you find in the post-apocalyptic Far Cry to Splinter Cell. Splinter Cell is confirmed to be in the same universe, and Splinter Cell is also in the same universe as Rainbow Six Siege. Which they also linked 
to Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon franchise. Yep. yep. It just keeps going, oh my god. It, every single Ubisoft franchise except for Rayman. And do you is know what Tom Clancy's a... fucking <laughs> Wildlands is linked to? The fucking what? Predator. <laughs> <laughs> the Predator <laughs> caught the assassin. Wait, assassin wait, didn't, didn't they just an, didn't they just announce the Predator is in Fortnite? Yeah, they did. Yeah. They did. He That's also got removed like, from Wildlands. Yeah, the, the licensing ran out for Ubisoft and then Epic Games clearly acquired it because they took out the Predator content from uh, Ghost Recon not that long ago. Yeah. Wait, so that means that Ghost Recon, which is, like, Wildlands, which Ghost is linked Recon there, is now... Wildlands, which means Ghost Recon as a franchise is in the same universe as Fortnite. <laughs> which means that, which means that they're <laughs> which means all, they're all connected to everything in Fortnite, like Borderlands and Star Wars and Marvel and DC yeah. and... Marvel, yeah. Fortnite has so much shit in it. <laughs> like... It's wait, impressive. wait, Celtic and Rangers are in Fortnite now. So what? Celtic and Rangers are yeah, in... Yeah, explain yeah. this to them. Right, uh, the the Scottish Premier League ha- and, like, UEFA, like, FIFA and all that as a whole, have, like, made... It, they've made a, um, a partnership with Epic Games. So there are 23 football s- clubs having their strips added to Fortnite as skins, Celtic and Rangers being two of them. That's wild. Wait, so, so can you like can you mix and match the skins? Can you put Deadpool as canonically a Celtic player? Is that a thing you can do? No, I th- uh, maybe. I don't know. That'd be funny. We mar- <laughs> the people <laughs> fucking must wait. Know. So, so now Celtic and Rangers now exist in the Assassin's Creed universe. Uh, uh, do you, but but Stormzy doesn't because Watch Dogs Legion isn't canon. That's fucking bullshit, man. It's fuck that. <laughs> I can't believe Storms these canon and Watch Dogs <laughs> Legion. It was a pretty Bo- good Borderlands. Side too. So Borderlands is linked to Borderlands is linked to Fortnite. Storms so that's Borderlands linked to all the yeah. Ubisoft things, and Minecraft is in Borderlands. So I know Smash Bros. Minecraft Smash is linked, <laughs> and Smash Bros. is linked there. So you've opened up a whole can of worms. Oh what? lord! Mario was in Assassin's Creed. Like any two games using like Smash Bros and Ubisoft, basically. It's like five clicks to Hitler, except fucking <laughs> random bullshit in video game universes. Yeah. Do you know I was gonna be like, oh, could you do like Yoda to Wildlands? And then I realized Fortnite does that instantly. That's how yeah, easy it is. Baby Yoda, yeah, well, like literally, baby Yoda I mean, here's in a, Fortnite. Here's another. Here's another roundabout way because we've got to Smash Bros. But who's in Smash Bros? Link. And what is Link also in? Link is also in Soul <laughs> Calibur. What's it, Link? Yeah, and so- Yoda's in fucking and, Soul Calibur. Man. And Yoda's in Soul Calibur. <laughs> Does that mean Yoda is canonically in both Fortnite and Soul Calibur? Does that mean there's two yes. Yodas? Or does that. Yeah, there's, Gro- there's Grogu and there's Yoda. Mm hmm. What the fuck, man? Games are so scuffed these days. I feel like Marvel did, like, a universe Wait. with more than three characters, and everyone was like, we can do that, right? We can do that, too. And then everybody tried, and nobody the did The fucking right. Fortnite extended universe. Oh, man. Wait, E.T. E. is in Star Wars. So now E.T. is connected Wait, to is Assassin's Creed. And, and episode one, during the, like, the big, like, Senate meetings, there's one little pods, it's just E.T. people. E.T., guys. Yeah. So, so E.T. is now in Assassin's Creed. Uh-huh. I feel like the and... picture of the guy doing like the mimicking the brain explosion thing, that's how I feel right now. Yeah. Why do they have to interlink franchises? Right, I'm I'm gonna go pee. You see if you can do like board game time. No no uh, I, we... I want I wanna see if you guys can figure out while I'm gone like fucking Alfred Hitch- Alfred Hitchcock psycho to like I don't know, fucking Legend of Zelda. Okay, <laughs> that's literally not even too hard because I, I worry okay. you'll have figured it out in like five seconds. I'm gonna go. Uh, okay, right, Adam. Right, there's a there's a cycle reference in GTA. Yeah. How could how and I think it's like GTA three or four. It's GTA in. three or how four. We, yeah. How can we connect GTA to the Legend of Zelda? So the Legend of Zelda to Smash Bros. Smash Bros. We can go like, what is there any GTA like? 
like crossover. Doesn't work. really crossover franchises. That's the problem. Are but... there any like? Are there any like GTA things in like any the like, game? You want to Google like, GTA games? references in Smash Bros. Or like GTA references and Nintendo franchise. Actually, wait, no. There's a GTA game on the Nintendo fucking family of consoles. GTA crossovers. Hmm. It's like me doing big brain think. God, this is def. This is like brain expansion. Fuck me. This hurts. Uh, let's think. Let's dance. Okay, we're thinking. Okay, we're thinking. Uh, is there not like a Minecraft thing in one of the GTA games? Uh, I, I am pretty. I'm. I'm. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I can't. I I can't tell you. That's. I don't know. This is my like area of expertise. I have no idea. Anyway, yeah. uh, talking about board games, uh, me and Molly have been playing a hell of a lot of uh, Fifty One Worldwide games, and like specifically Mancala. You ever played Mancala, Adam? You made me play Mancala, and then you kicked my ass in Mancala while giving me a tutorial, and since then I've never played Mancala. So yeah, I've played Mancala. It's so good. You want to explain to everyone what Mancala is? Mancala is an African uh, board game about moving beats around a little board. It's about planting seeds, so I'm told. Yeah, that's that's Mancala. Absolutely destroyed Sean and Mancala. He thought he was good at it. It was embarrassing for him. It was embarrassing, man. Shattered, shattered, shattered. Destroyed. Uh, would we like to talk about something new? I'm curious if you made it from Hitchcock to. No, because we went we from close. Hitchcock to GTA. See, the thing is, it's probably a lot easier using. Um, like, there's a lot of older games. I played Battlefield Bad Company 2 like a month ago or so. How did you get to Hitchcock? How did you get to GTA from Hitchcock? There's a cycle the, reference there's in There's a like, cycle GTA reference 4. in GTA 3 or 4, and then in like older EA titles, they un- un- like unabashedly mention other franchises and real world movies back when like they just didn't give a fuck, and I'd be like. Yeah, that that's a thing in this verse. That's okay. really strange. Anyway. Back, back in the day. Yeah, anyways, we got a Bad Company something else. Two. You're talking yeah. about. Bad Company 2 is such a like old but gold like video game gem. I never had like most of the like it it was I played it on my Series X, so because it was like an early 360 title. Every single loading screen broke to the point where I couldn't view them because they would appear and then disappear in an instant. Yeah. Um, but I was basically going to say is like to bring it back to the earlier point about uh, first-person shooters. Man, is it really good when they don't take themselves seriously but still have a serious enough plot? Yeah. Because I, it's I it's so full of like buddy comedy. Here's the trademark dumbass. You want like, here's the. Like... What you want is like Thor Ragnarok the movie, but the game military kids. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But nobody does that. They're always like, "Oh, a big manly grizzled char grilled steak man." Even Wildlands did that fairly well. Like they'd make jokes and shit. Yeah, like the four AI partners, and like the th- yeah, it's like a really like if you have a full squad, there's like really yeah the three of them. there's like silly like chemistry. Yeah, yeah. Or where it's just like, yo, you think I can get co- you think I can get cocaine? We're on a mission. <laughs> yeah, but it's legal. I like shit like that. Yeah, that's funny. Because it humanizes it more than um, let's go flashbang raid a house. Yeah. Which while wow, while wow, cool is not something. See, that if I... you do both, then it's the characters that you like, you you see as real people have to struggle through fucking raiding a house and the emotional tolls of that if you want to take that seriously, you know? Yeah. But... I think it's... there there is an important element to making them real people, which Call of Duty has not achieved in Modern Warfare. 
Yeah, because as I, like, I played Modern Warfare Story. I liked Modern Warfare Story. Did I like the characters in Modern Warfare Story as someone who's played every Modern Warfare game and their campaigns multiple times over? No. Hey, look, no, I didn't. Price again. Hey, look, it's Price. You guys like Pr guys Price was there fully as like a fuck. We need something to tie this title to the rest of the franchise, and like they present it as a sequel to. Oh god, this is really weird. Um, canonically, they have linked the franchises of Black Ops and Modern Warfare. Oh. Because the main villain in COD Four. And Modern Warfare, well, no, he's not the main villain in Modern Warfare. He's like the secondary main villain that gets mentioned at the end of Modern Warfare because it's like, Zakaev's a bad guy. There's a mission in Cold War where you're like undercover in the KGB's head office and oh, who, 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 who it is, but the bad guy from COD 4. So those series are now linked as well. Uh, but I digress back to the point. Um, the characters in Modern Warfare are have about as much dimension as a fucking cardboard cutout. The man big soap. Right. In mo in in Modern Warfare, you play as Soap, but you're a silent protagonist. In Modern Warfare Two, you play as Roach, and Soap and Price are your like buddies. But Soap's no longer a silent protagonist. He speaks. Yet they don't give you a voice for some reason. I don't get. Uh. The char like Soap's a good character, Price is a good character in the later games. Yeah. Like, but there's still no like there's no humanization. Like all we have known about these characters is like the five years they've been doing loosely threaded together missions. Uh, Black Ops definitely holds its like ignoring Black Ops three onwards because Black Ops four didn't have a campaign and Black Ops three fucking sucked. Um Black Ops 1 and 2 and Black Ops Cold War have, like, three really good storylines. Mm -hmm. Like, regardless of the fact that they changed all the voice actors in Cold War and it's not noticeable except for one of them where it's blatantly noticeable and you sit there and wonder why bother reusing the character because he's not there that often. But I digress. Can you explain this? Can you explain the zombie lore to me? Right. No, man, this will be a fucking four-hour podcast. <sighs> I don't know the zombies lore. The zombies lore in original, like, World at War started as, like, here is Nazi scientist Richthofen, whose buddy, uh, Maxis, like, raised the dead, like, figured out how to make, like, zombies, and then Maxis dies and becomes, like, this angry fucking ghost. And Rick Richthofen... This one Japanese soldier, the one Russian soldier, and the one American soldier who are all bad and offensive stereotypes. Um, I'm not like an SJW that offends me, but I mean, they're. It's not good. <laughs> the Russian guy canonically has killed nine of his wives. Mm. And like, they're all very, you know. Yeah, they, it's, just, it's, they are bad stereotypes. Yeah. They're bad stereotypes, but they're bad people. They're not supposed to be good. And then, canonically, in, like... I don't remember one of the Black Ops. Like, canonically, it ties itself together, and they die. And, like, the cycle continues, or something dumb. Yeah, they die um, in, like, the medieval ages as well. Yeah. Meanwhile, uh, Black Ops Cold War comes in with this fresh take, where it's, like, 1980s, uh, and they find the old Nazi facility, and you go in as one of the many multiplayer characters of your choice, and um, it's an entirely different gameplay and story, because, uh, for one, there is no story, which is kind of nice, because the story was really fucking dumb. Yeah, I don't like get it. Was it. Wait, is that the one in Black Ops 1 you are saying? N n uh, no. Because... The one in Black Ops 1 is the one I remember, because, like, it had that one is like, level, is like level 5 or 5 or There's whatever. Right, yeah, the one where you play is JFK. Yeah, and you're in like this, and there's it you're has in the this Pentagon, like, and you're, yeah, it has you're the, playing like, as JFK. It's the exploit where you can stand on the table, the table, and yeah, nothing. Yeah, you can stand on the you. table and nothing can hit you. But like, there's that. Then like, I don't know how that ties in to be honest, but it does. It's in the same thing. And then like, they go to the moon and they travel through time. Mm -hmm. It got really bad. 
as you can tell. Exactly. And they went to that, the. That's the coolest bit. Yeah, yeah two, they went to the moon in Black Ops half One, though. By evil Maxim guy, half are controlled, half are controlled by, by. Geralt called Samantha. Forget his. Yeah, name, but... all the. You're very all quiet, the... Gilbert. By the way. I don't think he's that quiet. I can hear him fine. Yeah, I, I, I'm not. Uh, it's be my audio. Uh, all and then it's like all the angry zombie dogs are controlled by her because it was like her pet thought. It got really convoluted and bad, and they retconned their own story like seven times. Yeah, yeah, and they so, retconned it in the fucking weirdest way ever. It was like alternate universe. This is where light is and good guys and shit. Yeah, and then and like they meet gone. the alternate universe ser- selves at one point. I'm pretty sure. Mm. So then when they got to Cold War, they went, "Yeah, let's not give it a story. We're doing it again." So now they're doing it again. Uh, it has a tie-in with one of the characters from Black Ops 2 who doesn't actually- no, from Black Ops 1 who doesn't appear in the main story for some reason, but he's like this Russian, like, double agent who's your buddy. He loses an eye in Black Ops 1, so he's the Gilbert, I don't know if you noticed, but like, the guy that uh, on the radio call yeah, with the eye patch. Yeah, he talks yeah. Through it, basically. Yeah. So he's there, but so far- there's one map out so far, they haven't done any official links to the rest of the franchise, I really hope they don't because I really like the zombies mode. Yeah, and I, I don't want them to ruin it. Just leave it self-contained. I but, don't see why the story ruins it. I think it's pretty funny. It's, it's not. Funny, but it's, just weird. it's funny, but it's weird and like dumb. Yeah, it's pointless. But I do, I do, I have to admit, I've watched like a forty-minute video explanation on it that came out before Cold War, obviously. And it it was fun to watch. Like it's yeah. the dumbest story ever, and like so hard to follow. I still do not understand it remotely, but it's funny <laughs> and like kind of interesting if you're willing to look past the stupidness. <laughs> but yeah, ah. I think it's easier if they just leave it to its own devices, basically. Mm. Yeah. Uh, we've almost been going for an hour and a half. Would you like to, uh, would you like me to reveal what we're gonna do as our weekly? Yeah, yeah. Bring up our weekly. Yeah. Um. So what okay. Are we gonna talk so. About next week? I think we should watch something. Um. Okay. And since we uh, since we checked during this podcast, I was like, I think I was like, I'll get them to check at some point. Um. You can all access Disney Plus for at least thirty days. Well, yeah, you really gonna um, get Disney like, Plus? Okay. I, I get, it, the, yeah, get rid of it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the the third episode of One Division releases tomorrow. I can't believe you're making uh, them get Disney Plus. <laughs> I can't believe you're making me get Disney Plus. <laughs> I think right, Adam. The literally the only prior knowledge you need to know before watching One Division, and it's three. Like I don't need I don't need no prior knowledge. We've talked. You've given me enough One Division information. Goes in, I'd rather go in blind and just be like, "What the fuck am I watching?" Yeah, I prefer that. Yeah. As someone who doesn't like Marvel particularly that much, this will be interesting. It's, yeah, it's very different. Very, very different. Yeah. So first three episodes then, or ju- or just the first three. three. Third, third, third just releases tomorrow. So okay. Only episode three or all three episodes. All three, because it's I think all together it will be like an hour to okay. watch all three. Okay, that's right. Because yeah, they're okay. like a, they're like twenty five to thirty minutes. I'm pretty sure. So. Okay. All right. Sean's studying math. They aren't so long. Three would be an hour, even though the long is twenty five <laughs> minutes. I just like the remainder. <laughs> I can't. No, it's because like it lists them as like half an hour on Disney Plus, but there's like six minutes of credits. So oh, okay. don't at me. Oh right, okay. Um, um. Yeah. Okay. We can we can watch that. We'll talk about that next week. Yep. Or I do. I'm just I'm just very curious. And it, this is just to like add to the weirdness of the show. One of the main characters last we saw him was dead. Yeah. So. Yeah. So we we yeah. have no clue how he is there yet. Yeah, he's not dead. Well, that's fun. Oh yeah, spoilers if you haven't seen the biggest movie that's ever released, you fucking idiot. <laughs> if you made it to the end nah, of this he... podcast and you haven't seen that nerd ship, <laughs> did you fall asleep? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> like... um, is there yeah, anything um... else you want to talk about yeah. on this episode? I actually, I had way more topics. 
but we only got through my first two. <laughs> I'm good. I, you've, I you've you predicted so that hard. pretty I'm well. I'm happy to leave some topics for now. Yeah. Time. Um. I just a a little VR fitness update. It's still going well. I'm thinking of doing a thrill of the fight review, or some sort of video on the channel. It is going insanely well. I feel like I have found the inner boxer within me. Like, you know how I was talking about how it was all like right hooks and shit like that, and I was knocking people out. Yeah. yeah, yeah, doing all your big, yeah, just big swings, big swings, big haymakers, knocking people the fuck out, which was great. I've now realized that like I can throw so many fucking punches, so I threw like nine hundred and forty punches in the last fight I did, um, which is a lot. <laughs> the other guy threw a yeah. hundred, <laughs> or just under that, I think. Hmm. Um, so I, I just learned how to throw a fuck ton of punches, um, <laughs> and I've gotten a lot better at forward striking, so that's been good. Um, I did box so hard yesterday, I got a headache, though. Oh, wow, that's some physical exertion. <laughs> yeah, for the whole day. It was not great. Oh, boy. Because I, I had, like, five fights. Um, so I've, I've beat the game on the no strength modifier, just using my strength now. Mm -hmm. So I've become world champ again. So, I'm going to try and beat it on endurance mode. We'll see how that goes. The audience can watch you be tortured. Uh, they will be. I have actually, I did stream the entire thing of me playing it on one times, and it was fucking hard. <laughs> so. I wonder I, why. I released the inner monk, the, the inner boxer. The, the monk inner monk. pog champ. It was great, man. I was fucking throwing hands. It's so good. I got so jumpy. I want to actually fight someone now. Swinging them arms around, Man, going, going COVID monkey ends, mode. I'm gonna fucking box in gym and get my ass kicked. It'll be great. Yeah, like a gamer. Like a gamer. Um, a gra gamer. Yeah. Uh, so I, th I think this was a, a very successful podcast, especially if you're interested in hearing about, um, <laughs> franchises <laughs> interlinking and flash games and Cold War and flash games. Yeah, we talked about a shit ton. Um, next week I think we'll probably talk a little bit more about um. I wanted to talk a little bit about Khabib versus uh, McGregor, Mayweather, Logan Paul, more shit like that. So okay. we'll talk about that a little bit next week. And whatever else comes up in the week, and also just shit we thought of. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> uh, but if you made it this far, subscribe, please. Uh, we love you all. I mean, that's that's a strong word. You guys are... Contra contractually, I end all these with Pog, so I'm not going to say no more than that. Yeah, okay. Pog. Uh, Pog, watch more audible memes. Goodbye. <laughs>